Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'll be running an ARDL model, autoregressive distributed lag model. Um, this model is attributed to Pesseran and 1995 and the 2000 Pesseran et al. paper. Um, I'll be running this model in eViews to show you guys. So I already have my eViews up here with a couple of data sets for Trinidad and Tobago economy. So I'll just be um, testing to see if there's any long run relationship with regards to the really effective exchange rate and a couple of variables so I'll just quickly set up this so let's um, do know that all the variables are in logarithmic form so this is to easy, easily allow for interpretation of the coefficients whereby it can be interpreted as, as elasticities whereby you can say for instance a 1% change in x will lead to a 1% or x% percent change in y so let's um, let's quickly estimate a model to see how it's done. So I'll just pick some random variables. Um, L rare is the logarithmic of the real effective exchange rate. L oil P is the oil price. Um, government spending and we so and net foreign assets. So you just select all variables, right click and open as equation. Uh, uh, next step is to select the various estimation techniques we would like and in this video we will be doing the ARDL model so it's just simply select the ARDL right on when this screen comes up there's the option to, to choose the amount of lags we want to implement on our dependent and regressors um, you can play around with this based on your on various papers but the what I usually do is estimate using standard 4 and 4 for for annual data you can use diff up to 12 for monthly data and 8 for quarterly data which, which is usually a good basis in the literature so I'll leave all as is and estimate the ARDL model so these are the results that come up here um, to check to see if there is the existence of long run core integration, we're going to view mod, um, coefficient diagnostics and then we scroll down all the way into sorry, um, the bounce test. Sorry, so the in order for the null hypothesis is no long run correlation, no long run relation exists in order for there to be co-integration amongst our variables the f statistics must lie outside of the of the bounds right as noted that we we can't exactly say if there exists any long run relationship by the first test to see if the um f statistics falls or is higher than the bounds test for each significance level but as according to Pesseran et al 2001 paper <clears throat> If the F statistics falls within the bounds, the test is inconclusive and we must check the order of integration of the variables to decipher. If it's if the variables are I zeros that is stationary, we use the lower bounds and if there's if they are I one we use the upper bound. So even if so we must check the order of integration for the variables. Um so that's it guys. That's a quick oh there's one more thing I'll show you guys in the ARDL model so upon estimating the model I noted that I just left the dependent variable and the regressor lags at set to automatic at 4 and 4 and do know that this is the eViews automatically calculates the best model using the AIC and the SIC criteria and the selected model is a ARDL 2, 0, 4 and 0 meaning two lags on the dependent variable which is the real effective exchange rate zero on oil price four for government spending and zero for um, net foreign assets so you can you guys can play around based on the model um, to check to see the, if um, the residual diagnostics are in line um, the, uh, I will go into these in uh, for that video upcoming so thank you guys again for watching please like share and subscribe thank you guys